Hello guys, welcome to Augie's Inflatable. I know it is kind of late for this, but we have reached the milestone of 10 subscribers recently. And, um, and because of that, today will be a jumble of not merely life stories, but stuff that, like, life fractions that I'm willing to tell you. So, first category, when I went to school. My school day is... I wasn't like a normal kid. kid. Um, I know many of you guys hate school. Many kids do. But I didn't mind it. I got to see my friends. And, um,. I got to see my friends and stuff. I'll tell you about stuff like recess later, but first, gotta tell you about our bus driver. Our, our first bus driver was this nice guy. We really liked him in first grade, but in second grade, she, um, we had this mean person. If you know what I mean, I even know this, that people love chatting on school buses. But she did not like it. She did not like the fact that people were talking all the time. She said shut up to us when we were just trying to hang out. Kids do a lot of their hanging out stuff. Yeah, and that's why she just needs to calm down a little. Almost got us in an accident. Oh, right, that's our next story. Once when we were on the bus, our old bus driver, a kid annoyed her. So much that she got up when she was on the hill. We were going home, but she forgot to park it. We were starting to go backwards down the hill. I was like, are we going backwards? And we were. We quickly stopped it before it, but what if it ran into it? We were... Our first 911 emergency, or well, maybe not first, but that's another story for today. But anyway, so you know the game master, the hacker. Well, in our school, we used for a couple, for one recess, we played a game where we tried to find clues on these posts. On the underside, there were these numbers that what was the Game Master's address. And right before we left, I saw a beach chalk thing, and then we never played again. So we still didn't solve it, but it wasn't really a crime anyway. And once when I was at recess, I found Miss... Pinsy Bank, maybe? I don't know what it was. But it was some sort of bill or something else. I was curious about everything back then. And also, one day, there was a praying mantis that people were looking at. A boy was holding it. I also looked, joined the crowd once, too. Um, um, and, um, 
then oh and once we had this play in it was for the first um, graders and um the first graders they um they performed a show called Space Pirates. It's about space pirates. No, it was not about Metroid. It was about space pirates. Not Metroid, just normal space pirates. And like I said, it wasn't about Metro, it was about normal space pirates. All I remember is a part at the end where you're like, bye ah, hoo or whatever. I only remember it because it was unforgettable at the end. But anyway, I have a lot of stories from that. That's all I can remember right now. But we should really get going on to the next category, dance. So, this may be a life story, but, um, first is the dance competition. I was in Louisville, driving there. We found this abandoned racetrack while we were driving there. We figured out that it was abandoned a bit later, but, then, then we went to this. Really good sandwich deli. It's a really nice sandwich cashier. When I went to the bathroom, there was this really tall guy in a jacket. It was like one of those tan jackets like in movies when people stack up and disguise themselves in. That's what I kind of thought it was before I paid more attention. I am not stupid. Well, well, I'm kind of am, but... And then... The dance competition was a little unusual. So, we were at the dance. We did the dance. And we thought that the judges... The last judges didn't know what real hip-hop was, but these ones didn't either. They loved our dance. They thought it was better than anything. I'll tell you about that later. But we were just some kids on stage, probably not doing very good overall, but when it was results time, we were first overall our category. In fact, there were these pretty professional teachers from our dance team, including mine, that we did and we were better than them. They obviously didn't know what real hip-hop was, but in a good way. In a real, real good way. Real, real good So, we got first place. And when I told Jeffy, he obviously said, uh, Oh, you didn't do good. Jeff, just give me a little encouragement. Kinda of why this? This dance, um, by the way, in the dance classes, here's a really funny part that I want to share with you. One dance class in, um, one dance class, it was one that was weeks ago, but we asked, where would we live? And we, um, I'll say, I said Florida. Um, Matthew, boy, my class said New York. And when it was Liam's turn, um, Liam's, um, the son of the owner of the dance studio, um, he tutored, and this guy said that period, bro, <laughs> and we all laughed when he tutored. And he said, I live in New Fort City. I think it said something. And then Montana. No, Minnesota. New Fort City, Minnesota. 
That's a place in the Augiverse. Really? I will go there now! Oh, you're a ghost? Stay hi to the stuffy! Hi. Hi. Bomb. Hi. So, anyway, I'm back. Um. So, anyway, let's continue with the story, shall we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't get back to the competition, but I should really should. So this is the most daring and unforgettable part. We were all here. We cry around as um as um Cooper's trying to call Satan Satan the devil. Yeah, the devil. He said, well, I think he said, like, walk off and then get off the phone. When, um, Logan thought it was the real devil, but I don't think it was. I don't know what who it was, but it was just some random number. He must have thought it was a sk Or, I don't know what he thought it was. Just, anyway. Then, after that, we joined a big crowd, and unfortunately, the building was too crowded up, and guess what? The fire marshal arrived and said that he was going to shut down the building if we didn't get out. So, it didn't. Got out on time. But, anyway. It was a lot. Yep. yep. It was a lot, right? Oh, and... The most recent class, my friend Elizabeth. I'll tell you all about this class. Elizabeth brought Lego figures and done in like Lego stuff. And she always brings something. This was a bad idea because, um, because I once saw one when I was dancing and it was a big risk in case she would lose some. She would lose any. So, then, um, that's the question if we'd be, um, a cartoon character or a stuffed animal? Um, I think Logan said he'd be a stuffed animal so he could be thrown around all the time. <laughs> um, Liam said that he'd be a stuffed animal so he wouldn't have to experience thigh pain. Oh yeah, we'll get back to Liam later. But anyway, um, I forget what everybody all said, but I said to I could shape shift into any cartoon character. Well, that sounds kind of cool. You could be a god or a hero or anybody, right? Hello, my name's Uniduck. And my name's Rainbow Bear. Delivery, delivery. But anyway, back to the story. During class, we practiced our, um, our new ending that was supposed to be a secret, but apparently that didn't work. And then, when we chose our numbers and we were walking on, Elizabeth, who's eight years old, said, um, 1,100, which, if you're new, if you know real math like I do, 
and hundred is a thousand. So the number was two thousand, but it was ten hundred thousand. Somebody said it wasn't a number. Um, two's only eight. All right. So. So, uh, we were in class. At one bar, we played this game called Driving in My Car. This song, the game was pretty dumb. It was like a dumb, blippy song. Like, it actually, I think it was a dumb, blippy song, and it probably was. It sounded exactly like it. It's going to say Allie knows this when that that's Abra's sister. We'll get to them and this in a minute. When it was so dumb, so dumb that even Lily and Logan could play it because of course it's Blippi. I can imagine hearing that Blippi the musical, but I'm not going to. And anyway, now our class was a bit nice, was nice, but not relatable. Some of them were. Now I will be ranking my classmates from relatable to most late relatable to least relatable. Most relatable. First and going down. Elizabeth. She um is actually pretty good friends with me and she's a subscribe or and her dad subscribed to my YouTube channel, so and she has the same birthday as me. So she's really relatable And And we're both pretty kiddy because she likes Paw Patrol, she likes Ryan, and I don't. I don't like Ryan, okay? And. Yeah. William, he, um, he is just. He loves to play video games. When we were at bowling, his eye was twitching because he has. He's played too much. Um. Um, geometry dash. Matthew, she's pretty quiet mostly. And stuff. Um, next most valuable is, I don't know, maybe Logan, but. I didn't tell you this. After we all said our stuff, Logan ch said, Oof, city, oof. Like, oof, city, oof, that's a lot of damage. And then, after Logan said that, he said, My house. He wants to live here. He'd sleep in the guest bedroom, but then where'd Lily and sleep? That'd be a lot to go through. You'd be on my channel, though. And this boy had golden nails. Well, now I just plain. Golden nails. Golden nails. But anyway. Cooper had a YouTube channel about him speaking with his dog and whatever. Has a hundred subscribers and completely into social media. Um, Avery, the absolute least relatable. Um, there are reasons why I would never invite my why I would never invite her to my house. Not because I don't like her. She's, she's really nice and all, but 
for this reason. She loves TikTok. She's one of the um, she's one of the many puppets of TikTok, and she can't go anywhere without making a TikTok video. So if I let her in my house, it'd be a dumb idea, and my house would be a TikTok video. She records it so much that I might have even been in one. And it's not my fault. If you see me on TikTok, no comments. No. Any other stuff to talk about? Well. Well, suing, you know how you can sue people for like copyright laws and stuff? Well, about Liam, he um was in this school and since he was ADHD, they couldn't deal with him and they threw him in the closet and locked him up. He might have been happy in there because he didn't have to do any schoolwork, but it's also a bad thing for that. He couldn't see any kids. So Kelly probably wants to sue them and I hope she does. Go to jail, people. And anyway, is that all for now? I think so. Goodbye for now. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, and here's the outro for the 10 subscriber special. Um, this is our main your first milestone so please smash that subscribe button and past here we will do stuff like eventually we will set all our inflatables up in the house it'll be a lot to handle but the last one got a lot of views and we'll hope we'll, you'll subscribe on that one and all the other ones so Hit that subscribe button so we can keep doing these specials. I could keep doing swords. I could keep, you know, doing my thing. Anyway, bye.